Princeton Park, the home of Tranmere Rovers, just over the Wirral, and it's also the home of Liverpool striker Paul Glatzel for this season. The Liverpool youngster is on loan here at Tranmere, and here at the Stanfield, we're delighted to say that we're going to be sponsoring Paul as a player, hopefully watch his journey, see how he gets along with Tranmere, maybe push them on towards promotion. He's looking to rewrite some memories from the last time that he played here, which was his competitive or first game for Liverpool's first team in a friendly. But um, yeah, he's out there now. We had a little chat to him before the game. Here it is. Good luck to Paul. Good luck to Tranmere for the rest of the season. Well, how are you sitting learning at Tranmere? And the uh, big question is, have you done your initiation song yet? Yeah, I've done, done my initiation song. Did that at Carden Park when we were there a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, I feel like I've settled in well, got to know the boys and the staff and everyone at the club, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the season. First few games you've been playing sort of on the left of the front three, a little bit different for you? Yeah, it's a little bit different, something to get used to, but it's still in the attacking half of the pitch and um, I can still do what I c uh, hopefully I can still produce and score goals and create chances and um, yeah, it's something to get used to, but I'm looking forward to it. You mentioned that you've done your initiation song then. Um, what did you give us? What did you throw some tunes to? Oh, I gave it a little bit of uh, Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Um, the lads loved it, to be fair. Um, yeah, I gave them a little bit of a bit of energy in it as well. So, yeah, it was a good laugh. Going back then to the beginning, sort of your upbringing, it's quite an interesting story and obviously your heritage. First of all, tell everybody how you would pronounce your name because I know it's not quite how most people would imagine it is written. No, yeah, well, it's, it's pronounced Powell. Spelt Paul, but it's German, and um, yeah, I was born in Liverpool, but my my mum and dad are both German, and everyone in my family is German, so um, yeah, it's quite important to me that people get my name right. That opens up an obvious question then: if you were to hit the goals of your career, would you represent England or Germany? It's always a tough question. Um, I haven't made my mind up. Obviously, it's a long way away at the moment, but um, yeah, like I said, my family are German, and um, yeah. I can I can play for both, but I'd like to make my family proud, and um, I'm sure they'd be proud either way. But I haven't made a decision on that, and that's not the main aim, not, not the main focus for me at the moment. So, what was it like in your house a couple of weeks ago for the Euros in the semi-final? Yeah, there was um, sp split emotions, I'd say. Um, some people sport in Germany, others sport in England, like friends, and um, yeah, it was uh, disappointing for some, but yeah, it was a good game to watch, and some were happier than others. So. Key question here then is how is your German? Yeah, I'm fluent in German, so yeah. yeah. So do you and uh, Jurgen ever have conversations in German when you was when you were, you know back with Liverpool first team? Yeah, when I was around there, around the training ground, he tend to tend to speak to me in German. Um, I think he likes if he has the opportunity to talk to the lads in German because there's a few of the boys there who can speak German. He, he tends to take that opportunity, and um, yeah, it's good to good to be able to speak to him in his native language. We're now here at Printon Park. Um, it's a you know stadium that you're pretty familiar with. Played here with Liverpool's under twenty three, scored quite a lot of goals. First of all, tell us kind of about that when you was coming through and you was at the twenty threes levels and you had the extremely successful season that you did. Yeah, it was it was a good season for me to be playing in the in the academy. But I've had a few uh, injury hit seasons since then, so um, I can't really look too much into the past because it's a few seasons ago now that I was doing so well and scoring the goals. So. I just need to focus on getting back into it this season and playing as many games as I can and scoring goals and creating chances and hopefully helping the team as much as I can. Obviously, Brenton Park as well was that, you know, the, the fateful kind of day where you had the high, the massive, massive high, and then the low, you know, the first time that you played for the first team and then the injury. It's just kind of epitomises the roller coaster journey of a football almost, that one, one half an hour section of your career. Yeah. What was it like in the road to come back from that? and? where you are now. Yeah, it was definitely one of the toughest moments in my career. As you said, going from such a high, playing for, for the first team in a pre-season friendly and looking to go on the pre-season tour as well to then come here to Tramia and get injured and do my ACL. It did leave a bad memory here for me. So um, when I came back out here against Rangers in the pre-season friendly the other week, um, it was in, my back, in the back of my mind for, at the start. So I just hope that I can uh, erase that memory and um, just Make make better memories in front of the fans here, and you know, produce for the team. Just rewrite those memories by scoring lots of goals for Tranmere this year. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, 
that game itself, there was 10 teenagers that played for Liverpool that day, including yourself, and obviously some of them have kind of gone on to establish themselves, and that Phillips as well wasn't a teenager at the time, but Curtis Jones likes them. How um, inspiring is that, and how much of a drive is that for you to kind of see that as a pathway for you into the Liverpool, essentially, first team? Yeah, it's massive. Obviously, I'm proud of all the boys that have managed to achieve what they've achieved, and um, I've been a bit unlucky with injuries, but it's it's always nice to see them doing well, and it shows you, like you said, that there's a pathway there. If you've if you've got the uh, right mentality, and if you get lucky enough to take the chance, then um, it is there for you. So yeah, it's good to see the boys doing well. You hear at Tranmere, and they've got an ex Liverpool player in midfield, your captain, uh, Jay Spear, and has he given you any advice, any uh, anything that you can learn from him, and obviously from the other players in the squad? Yeah, he's given me quite a bit of advice. Obviously, he, know, he knows what it's like to come through at Liverpool, and um, he knows what it's like as well to then have to move on to get go on loan or to um, you know get first team appearances. So he's he spoke to me quite a bit about that, and obviously there's other boys in the squad who have got the experience that I need really, and that I can learn from. So yeah, it's it's good to be training with with a lot of the lads who've had um, first team experience, and um, I'm just looking to learn from them and look up to them really. You spoke there about like how you missed the pre season with Liverpool, but then the club they rewarded almost like with a new contract. How important to you was that at that point when you was it kind of a low point and then you got given a new contract, Jurgen sort of speaking about you being one of his boys for the future? Yeah, it was a massive confidence boost. Obviously I was down uh, at that particular time and to see that the club had faith in me and the manager had faith in me and he wanted me around the training ground as well for my, to do my rehab. So it was it was definitely helped me mentally because it was it was a tough, tough time for me and my family as well because obviously they suffer with me. Um, so yeah, it was it was great to see that the club had the, the faith and the support in me, and um, hopefully I can repay them in the future. And then when you came back from injury, you were back like training with the first team for a little bit. I know there was another little setback there, but you know what was it like to be back going into training and training alongside the first team after so long out? Like you say, it's a tough time in your career, and then you kind of like, all right, I'm back into where I was at least. Yeah, it's it's what you where you want to be, you know, when you're in physio every day with a long rehab that you, that an ACL injury has um, brings. It is good to then get back to where you were before, essentially, and to be training again, and it's just good to be out there again and it puts a smile on your face, and because that's what you want to be doing, you want to be training and playing, and to be back um, training with them for a little bit was um, was a boost, and it was good for me. Obviously, we've had a couple of really high-profile uh, injuries, and the big Virgil getting the ACL injury last year. Did did you drop him a message and give him any advice? Uh, I mean, he was there. He was there when I did mine, so uh, I, I I didn't really get to speak to him because I was down at the twenty threes again because I had another few uh, injuries. But yeah, he, he's obviously um, been through it now, and Joe's been through it, and obviously he had Ox as well who, who'd done it previously. So I'm sure Ox Ox helped him a lot. And they often speak about like kind of having somebody else with them by the side, like doing their rehab together. Was there anybody else in and around where you, you know, really confided in them and you both pushed each other to get back? Yeah, I had Nathaniel Klein did his um, his knee a similar time, so me and him were quite close, always in the gym together, doing pretty much similar exercises. And um, yeah, so it is good to have someone because you tend to push each other along as well. And and there's some days that one of you is down and the other one's still got the motivation to drag you through and then vice versa. So it is good to have a companion in the gym if you if you like. And now obviously the rehab goes on at the, the new training ground. Have you been around Kirby much um, since they you know, reopened and what's it what's it like there? Yeah, it's amazing. Brilliant facilities. Um it's just you know, it just helps you to want to improve even more you know you go in there and the facilities are great there's no no excuses really to to kick on and carry on doing what you need to do and um, yeah it's, it's brilliant. Obviously now here at Tranmere um, have you set yourself, yourself any goals have you spoke with the manager about anything that you've kind of set for the season or is it just purely a case of seeing how it goes and taking it you know one game at a time as the old cliche is? Yeah I think for me personally because I've missed a few uh, quite a few games last season and the season before with injuries. For me, it's massive to just be playing as many games as I can, really, especially in this first team environment. And um, hopefully, I can bring the performances that come with that and score goals and create goals and um, just be there for the team. But yeah, I've not set myself any numbers as such because I just want to be out there playing as many games as I can. And hopefully, the numbers come with that. 
with us at this is Anfield, we're sponsoring you as a player this season. So we're obviously cheering you on. We'll be encouraging people to come down and watch you when it doesn't clash with the Reds playing. And what we're going to do is we're going to donate twenty pound for every goal that you score this season to fan supporting food banks. So hopefully you smash them in and good luck for the season. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so hopefully I can score goals and yeah, we can all be happy.